Happy show day. It is almost 2 p.m. I have to leave by 3.30. <laughs> Again, the stuff I did today, why? What actually did I do today? Oh, I was making charm necklaces and I've been embroidering. I went on Etsy, I purchased a few files. Um, this time, I just wanted a couple Halloween-ish ones without like actually making it and getting it digitized. Like I just wanted to buy a file, you know, just like a couple little pocket tea, cute little ghosties. Um, <laughs> I have one done. Where is it? There it is. So I haven't like done all the clippings yet. One of the designs, and I think she's cute. I have a little ghost kitty pocket sweatshirt. Um, it's just going to be for markets though. So once I like fully clip her, I'll show it to you again, but I'm not launching fall stuff until next week. So why did I do that? Because I knew I wasn't going to bring it to this dang market. Um, but okay, what I came on to tell you is that this is a night market, an outdoor night market, same as the last one I did. Um, it's Oxford and the weather keeps going back and forth of like, it's going to be, um, lightning and, um, just like really rainy. And then like, I'll check an hour later and I'll be like, um, no rain. <laughs> And then like another hour later, it's back to thunderstorms. And so they finally were just like, probably at like 1230. And we have to set up at four um, to tell us that it's not going to be outside anymore, which good because with the weather, like I can't bring metal outside. I don't want to be under a metal um, tent either, but they were like, it's going to be indoors at um, Miami University, which is there. And now I'm just like nervous. They said like, if you want to drop out, um, no big deal. This is free. Like everything is just profit. Um, it's already amazing that they're doing this, but they're like, if you want to drop out, no big deal. Um, we understand. Just like, let us know by like ASAP. And, but I'm going, I'm not dropping out, but like, I kind of, I'm afraid that it's going to be such a miss because it's indoors now. And part of the like, glamour of doing the outdoor market here is that like you get the people walking going to like the bars because you're like literally right next to all the bars so i'm hoping it's still crowded it's a book event and like i sell bookmarks so um like the theme is books this month not this month this week <laughs> um so i'm going i'm just a little nervous that it's gonna be a flop but oh well if it's a flop like i truly am not i'm just losing time and my son's going to his grandparents. Like, he should be having fun. Um, my husband's not here anywhere. So, like, actually, now that I really think about it, it would have been nice having a, <laughs> a night without anyone but myself. <laughs> um, that's okay. So, we're going. Uh, but, <laughs> circling back now, I have my truck already, like, filled up for an outdoor market. And now I have to, like, hurry up, go out there. Um, take out all of my tent stuff, my weights, um, and then put new things in because like an indoor market versus an outdoor market, I take different things. So I went up to the attic, which was a feat in itself because getting that door down, like I've never been able to do it and I was struggling. And so I got something down um, and I couldn't find the other thing. Speaking of the other thing, where is it? So I still need to find that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a hot mess and I'm spending time on this sweatshirt. Why? Why? Watch this be like the only thing that sells. Okay. I'm turning you guys off. I don't know why I'm still here. Um, so yeah, um, happy market day and I'll see you in, um, a second. <laughs> Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the
the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on I'm not sweaty, I'm not disgusting. I'm still gonna shower, like, immediately. Um, but we're not so disgusting. I'm not gonna stay on here because this is atrocious lighting. Um, and two, it's, I'm tired, I wanna go home. I am home. I wanna watch the Olympics. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And I think, well, we'll go into numbers and everything. My mom thinks we did really good. Um, and I think we did good. I think we did a couple hundred under what she thinks we did. She thinks we did like 600. I really do not think that's the case. Um, but I'll explain everything later. It went much better than I expected, given the fact that we were not in the location we were supposed to be and not in like walking of anything and like really in a little dungeon in the back. So <laughs> we'll go into details later. Um, thank you for continuing to watch. I'll see you in a minute tomorrow. <laughs> Hello friends, it's so nice to see you again. It's been, again, a second for you guys, and this time it's been three weeks for me. <laughs> and so it's finally time to do the wrap up of my Oxford, what was the theme of this one? Oh, books, reading, reading themed, mm, up my alley. Um, as you guys could tell, I don't know if I got it on film, but it had some nasty weather that day and so they moved everyone inside um to this random building that is part of miami university and we were in this corner tucked in room and they still had the show so we got a text that day being like hey no pressure feel free to say you're not coming you're not it's not gonna be counted against you for like being invited to future shows because this is a free show this is amazing it's a free show um and so I was like, we're still coming. And I'd say probably about half the vendors showed up that were originally supposed to. None of the food vendors showed up, which sucked, but we ended up getting DoorDash, my mom and I. Um, I actually got really sick that night. Um, definitely food poisoning, so that was also fun. Throwing up all night long, um, but I felt fine after that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the breakdown is, um, I was nervous because I was like, no one's gonna come. 
the other vendors with me were nervous, uh, and people came. People showed up. People bought stuff. I was shocked by it was, wasn't like a I made a ton of money, but so much more than I thought I was given the circumstances. Um, a lot of people bought bookmarks. I actually have not had my bookmark stand, I don't think, since that show. And so I actually have no idea how many bookmarks I'm bringing. Like, I don't know if I'm low on bookmarks. I don't, I don't know. So this will be um, interesting for the next shows to see how many I sold <laughs> versus how many I had. So I think I went to that show with like 220 bookmarks. I would say I'm probably, I know I'm definitely in the 100s probably, um, but I don't know if I'm like near that 100 or like 200. I have no idea, I have no idea. Nothing bad happened, no complaints. Really like the vendors that are there. Uh, yeah, ch the Chunky Chickadee was also there. Uh, right next to me, so the Chunky Bee and the Chunky Chickadee were neighbors. <laughs> I bought a giant, um, not box, I got, well, essentially it could have been a box, two bags filled with library books, because they were doing a library book sale, um, for $9.99. That's a deal. I probably had, like, 20-something books for that price. It was, like, a per bag, $5, a little bit for or something. So that was fun. It also ended an hour earlier than it was normally planned for, which also is great because as you guys know, I am a grandma and I like getting to bed early. <laughs> and so it was a pleasant surprise all around. <laughs> Let's get into numbers because it, it has been three weeks, but nothing happened where I was like, I need to put this in the vlog, you know? Okay, I found it. I was like, did I not write notes? All right. I spent $9.50 in books, less than I had told you guys, and I spent $22 in DoorDash. <laughs> Literally went blank up here. Food trucks are expensive. Had a food truck been there, it would have been $30. So actually, I saved money doing DoorDash, and they delivered. So, uh, but I did get <laughs> aggressively sick at night, um, so I wish the food trucks would have came. Uh, overall, I spent, I didn't even add that up, uh, $30. One dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> um, and then for sales, I did one hundred twenty-four dollars in cash. I did two hundred and sixteen dollars in Venmo. Weirdly, first time ever, Venmo had the most sales. And then one hundred and sixty-five dollars on my credit card. Uh, well, through credit card. So I made a total of five hundred and five dollars. And if you guys remember the last show, I have it here. I had a total of $312. So on an indoor rainy day show, I made almost $200 more. That's weird to me. I find that so weird. I think because it was a book event, people were coming to buy the library books. They were like, oh, well, let's, let's grab a really cute bookmark on the way. So yeah, that was the Oxford show. I thought I had something to tell you guys, like something interesting that happened. What was it? What was it? I have no idea. Apparently, it wasn't interesting enough for me to remember. <laughs> My neighbor, the um, Chunky Chickadee, she said, she came up to me at the end of the night. She was like, this has never happened to me before, but I just had a lady walk up and hand me one of my items and say, like uh, gave like gave it to her and said, my daughter stole this from you the last show and then walked away. <laughs> Can you imagine one? Like, good on her for bringing it back, but two, I would have made my daughter bring it back personally and apologize, you know what I mean? But I'm glad that she brought it back to her, but that, I was, like, I reflected on that. I was like, wonder what, wonder what I would do as a parent in that moment, and I think I would, I would definitely give it back, but I think I would force them to also give it back and be the one to apologize as uncomfortable as that is. <laughs> so I guess that's that happened to someone else. That was not to me though. Okay, anyways, thank you for watching. If you like these vlogs, please subscribe. I have many, I'm so tired. I have many more markets planned. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.